the first time I was wounded, we were in this rock formation and throwing hand grenades at the Japanese. And the Japanese were throwing hand grenades at us. And a hand grenade lit behind me and wounded a couple of us. Where were you hit, Mr. Harold? Well, I had a piece went through the, my, the big muscle in my back, my arm, my face. What did the Japanese grenades look like? Well, they were just a little round ball, of poor metal or something, and they busted up in a lot of fine pieces. What did it feel like when it hit you? I didn't even know it. How seriously wounded were the other men? Can't tell you. And tell me more about this incident. How far away were the Japanese and where were they in relation to you when you guys were throwing grenades back and forth? Well, it was dark at night and I didn't, we couldn't tell where they were. When I was discharged from the hospital, they sent me up to the front lines and I didn't have a rifle. That guy said to go down there on that pile of dead people and get a rifle. I don't know, there must have been 30 or 40 down there, something like that. I picked up a rifle and went on. Who told you to do that? Some sergeant. The second time I was wounded on Okinawa, we were up on the front line and this uh, another soldier was standing beside a big rock kind of leaning up against it, and I saw him get hit in the helmet, went through his head, and about that time the knee motor led behind me and got me and another kid. The other kid who was hit by the knee motor, he went nuts. He went wild. I didn't, it didn't, I didn't move much on the line. The blood started running down my back. And, then we went to first aid. Well, I had enough points that I could get out of anyway, and, but then I had to go through this hospitalization for the knee mortar and transportation and all that, so it was September before I got out. Okay, Mr. Harold, thank you for being so patient with me. Once this plane goes away, I'm going to have to go to dinner here and go to the bathroom pretty soon. I think they're bringing it out to you, actually. They are. That's what she. That's what Julie said. Well, they aren't bringing the bathroom out here. That's why you have a tree. <laughs> I can water it. <laughs> I'm sure you have before. <laughs> yeah, I have.